Creating headers and footers in Excel is not that difficult. But what about when you need to create headers and footers for 30, 40, or maybe even 100 pages in a workbook? How can you automate that? Hi, this is Randy with Excel for Freelancers. And today, we're going to show you how you can automate headers and footers, even customs and adding pictures through VBA. It's going to be a great quick training. And I've included a cheat sheet here that you can download absolutely for free using the links down below. Please also don't forget to subscribe and click that notification icon bell. I create these trainings twice a week. In fact, every single Tuesday, I create comprehensive application development where we create amazing applications right in front of your eyes. And every single weekend, I create these basic VBA trainings. So if you're new or you just want to brush up on your VBA, these trainings will help you a great deal. Don't forget to share it and also comment below. I respond to each and every comment. So today, what we're going to be doing is automating headers and footers. Now, if you want to add in a header and footer if we take a look in the preview here there's no headers and footers or anything and i've got four different sheets i got a customer a vendor database employees and so on and so forth so adding a header essentially is relatively easy if we go into the view page layout you see we've got a top header there's three sections on the top a left a center and a right and also in the bottom footer if we want to go we have a menu here we can go to the footer here and we've got here a left and a middle and a right footer so here we can add things pretty much whatever we want so if we want to add a title inside the header and footer we could just start typing if we want we can do that so we can easily add a title we can also format that if we want to just simply highlight it and we just go into the home we can increase the font we can change it to bold or color or whatever we want and also we can add in dynamic information such as page number so if we go into the insert and we want to add the page number we can add the page number here and maybe we want to add the number of pages so maybe we can do something like of and then the number of pages and now when we preview that again, we just have to get out of that. So we go into the view and go into the normal as we escape out of there. And now what we want to do is preview. And if we take a look at that, we see that it says Excel for freelancers, one of four, although there's no spaces. If we go to the next sheet, however, we see that there's nothing. Now, this is not something we really want to do on every single sheet. So how can we use VBA to actually automate and customize and add pictures and so on and so forth inside the headers and footers well that's what i'm going to show you now so let's go out of there we'll go back into the workbook and what we're going to do is we're going to go into the developers now if you don't have the developers tab here you can simply right click on any tab customize the ribbon and make sure that your developers tab is selected what that's going to do is going to provide all the information here and then you'll want to click visual basic to get you in you can also use the shortcut alt f11 and what that's going to do is going to open up now generally you won't have a module i'll delete that just so you can show how we can create a module so it'll look just like this and then what you're going to do is you can insert a module where we want to write our code great so we have different sheets sheet one sheet two sheet three and sheet four now what i want to do is just write a simple macro that's going to add a header now if we go into our view and we go into our page layout what i'm going to do is i'm just going to delete everything that we've created and i'm going to scroll down here going down here and i just want to delete what we have because i want vba to take care of that and first we're going to show you how you can customize the header and footer on a single page and then i'm going to show you how you can create it for every single page in the workbook so the first thing what we want to do is i want to go into vba and i want to write a simple macro so we're going to call this sub add header and footer so the first thing what we want to do is we need to focus on the sheet so we'll use sheet one which is the sheet that we have and we're going to use something called page setup now inside page setup intellisense we have a lot of options so if we're going to look down here we enter center and we have center footer center footer picture center header so i'm going to do the center headers what i really want and i want to write the name of equals excel for freelancers so we're going to say equals and then just put in excel for freelancers and then end quote so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna drop this down here a little bit and what i'm going to do is i'm gonna run this macro f5 and we see that excel for freelancers has now been added to this single sheet of sheet one well that's great we can also do some other things maybe we want to add some information 
to the left header. Maybe we want to add a date and time. We can also do that. If you look in the cheat sheet here, let's go back into normal view. We can add a lot of information. So we see we can add the date or we can add the time or maybe the file name or the name in the header. So there's a lot of information for the date is simply a uh, quotation marks and D and for the time it's simply and T. So let's give that a try and let's put that inside the left header. So again, what we're going to be doing, if we're going to be using this a lot, what we can be doing is doing something like this with sheet one dot page setup. And now we don't need to write this anymore. So all we need to do is include this inside the width. So we're going to bring that in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to tab it out. Now we want to do something on the left header. So the left header, I want to put in the date and time. So equals, we're going to put quotation marks and the date, which is D. I'm going to add a space and I'm going to put and the T. And so what that's going to do is going to enter the date and the time inside the left header. And to view it, we can print preview it or we can go back to the page layout view. Either one will do fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it and we see if we go into the page layout, we now have the date and time. If we are to preview this file, we see that we have the date and time. Now it is July 11th, 2024. 4:52 p.m. So we've got the current date and time and that can be quite helpful. We can also add page information if we want. So let's put a page number of whatever it is inside the center footer. So let's go ahead and do that. So here we're going to do dot center footers where I wanted to go and I want to put an equal sign. If we look at our cheat sheet, we're going to quickly see that we want to put in the page number. So dot and P is the page number. If we want to know page N of N, we can do that. So page and N, if we see and N, that is the total number of pages. So that's exactly what I want to do here. So let's do that right now. What we're going to do is let's bring this up a little bit. And what I want to do is I want to add that to the center footer. So we're going to do quotation marks and P and then a space of and then another space and then an and and then N and that's going to be the center footer. So let's go back into the page layout so we can scroll down and we're going to be keeping an eye on this footer right here. So I'll bring this up and as we run this, we see that we now have one of two. That's nice and all, but I'd like to customize it a little bit more. I'd like to make the Excel for freelancers larger and bold and we can do that if we want to use the bold text. All we need to do is add and B to that. So we can do that very easily. So let's give that a try. So inside here, we're just going to write in and B. Great. So we have that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run this and we see that Excel for freelancers is now bold. We may want to add additional font. We may want to make it bold or we may want to increase the size. There's another way to do that. So let's try adding a font here. So we're going to use and, and I'll do the double quotation marks here and I'm going to write in Arial. And then I'm going to come, I want to write bold this time. And then I'm going to use the double quotation marks here. And then I want to write the size. I want to know what size we want that. So let's put it in 16. So and 16 pixels for that. So that's going to be that. And then we'll do a space. Great. So let's take a look at that. And we're going to run that. And we see now that Excel for freelancers is larger. So not only can we make it bold, we can actually create a size. Maybe we want to add a picture. So let's add a picture to the right header. So to do that, we can just hit enter dot right. And let's take a look in that. So we see that we have right header picture. That's what I really want to do. And we need to specify a file name for that. So we're going to do specify equals and I've got a file name. If we take a look inside this folder, I've got an Excel for freelancers logo inside my item pick. So I'm going to copy that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste it here. And it's called logo.png. So I'm just going to write the backslash logo.png. Very good. We can bring this down. And now what I want to do is I want to run this. Oh, we got to do one more thing. We need to add that placeholder for that. So dot right header where are we going to place that picture so we're going to use equals and then it's going to be the and g so we need to do and g and that's going to tell us exactly where we're placing that picture now when we run the macro we will see that we have the excel for freelancers directly here inside the right header very good now that's all nice and handy and we see we've got everything great but it's only on a single page if we take a look back inside, we go into the print preview. We see we've got the page one of four, we've got the time, the date and the logo. But if we switch to the next page, we don't have anything. What I would really like to do is I would like to be able to add this to each and every page. 
So to do that, we can loop through all of the worksheets in the workbook. So we're gonna go back into our VBA and then we're gonna dimension a worksheet. So I'm gonna dimension the worksheet as a worksheet. Now what we wanna do is we wanna run a loop for each worksheet in this workbook dot worksheet. So we're gonna loop through every worksheet inside the workbook. And let's put a space right here. And we also need to make sure we close our loop here, next worksheet. Great, so now what we wanna do is I wanna focus directly on that worksheet. So with worksheet, so now we're focusing on this worksheet and we're gonna loop through every single worksheet. Great, we can also bold the page header. So the page center footer, we may wanna bold that if we wanna add that. All we add to do is just add and B to that, and that's gonna automatically bold it. So now what it's gonna do, it's gonna loop through every single sheet inside the workbook and add this dynamic header to every sheet. So we're gonna run it, the macro is gonna run, and now let's take a quick look. Now we see we have page layout. If we go into the preview now, we're gonna take a look. So we see we've got it on the first page, which we had before. We now have it on the second page, the third page, and the fourth page. Great. So we see how we can write a quick macro to add custom headers and footers to every single page in the workbook. Now let's say you want to run this macro every single time you create a new worksheet. We can do that too. And that's based on a workbook event. So let's say we're going to go into the workbook and let's say when we add a new workbook, so it's going to be a workbook, I want to create an event every time a new worksheet is added and we see the option new sheet. Anytime a new worksheet is open, I want to run this macro. Now it'll duplicate up, but it's the quick and easy to do that. So now automatically when we add a new sheet, this macro is going to run. So when we add a new sheet and we'll just call this test worksheet so we can see test worksheet and we take a look inside the page layout and we see we already have our custom headers and footer for this brand new worksheet. So that makes it very, very easy to automatically add that when we're creating a project with lots of worksheets. I hope this has helped you. Make sure you do download this worksheet. I'll make this available for you. I just launched my 350 workbook template pack. So make sure you check that out. I'm gonna include the links down below. I also have brand new additional trainings on our Patreon platform or YouTube members. So you can also join that for additional training each and every week. I do appreciate your continued support. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next week.